from Los Angeles. This is Montserrat Radio. You're listening to Montserrat Radio. In the spirit of the war against fake news, Montserrat Radio presents The Fake News Show, conspiracy news and a different point of view of current events. And now your host, Benny Wilson. Welcome to the Fake News Show. Uh, this is your host, Mr. B, in a very noisy call right now because I got Patrick with us in from Australia. And but before we go with Patrick, please lift your Zimbabwe from your right hand and listen to the prophecy. What is your plan for this giant? 
What is the plan for this giant of death? And he will take this simple stone, remember the name, and he will hold it up, and they will laugh at him. But the plan is so brilliant, it could only have been given by me. Welcome to the show, and um, I want to tell you guys something, uh, some, some of the things that I just find out today are, are brilliant, seriously, because the plan of my Lord is brilliant, and uh, we just, all of us, all the Jets in, in Facebook, we were witness of a prophecy completed, a prophecy from Prophet... Uh, Emmanuel Makandawa. Emmanuel Makandawa is basically the prophet of the Zimbabwe note. And something that he did, actually the prophecy of the three birds, that I show all my jets and I play the audio, it just be fulfilled, one of the prophecies, okay? And basically, what is the prophecy I'm talking about? Well, um, let me get to the to the audio first. I was supposed to get it fixed and actually be ready to play it out. But since I was late, I did not have the chance to um, play it out. But uh, I will see if I can just go to the part of the third bird. The third bird, uh, well, let me see if it is the second, the first, it was the third bird. And it symbolizes South South Africa. Uh, so I'm gonna let let you guys listen to the third bird, and then I will go to the news that I'm talking about that because that's prophecy. But before I do that, before I do that, um, I wanna welcome my guest, Patrick. How you doing, Patrick? Patrick? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, um, here in Australia. Enjoying myself, um, trying to figure out what's going to happen, as usual. That's yep. um, what's uh, mainly taking up my time, at least um, my mental time. And, uh, yeah, we're going to try to figure out, put all the pieces together for my Jets. And everybody understand why is it the, uh, the, best, the best intel is the divine intel, to tell you the truth. You see, while all the gurus are inventing his stories, bringing out a lot of drama, bringing um, the, the elders and the grandfathers and the family dragons. While they're so busy bringing, bringing the galactic confederation, the aliens, and whatever they want to invent. While they are bringing and releasing all the time, releasing the 800 numbers, releasing the funds, releasing even their own grandmothers. I don't know what they, what else they can release. While they're all saying, oh, it's done, it's a done deal, we're going to exchange this day by tomorrow. Why are they doing all that? And getting you pissed and frustrated here in the, in the fake news show. We are following the prophecy of God, of the word of the spirit of God, because we believers, we like the truth, and the truth is Yeshua. So since Yeshua is the truth, wait and you will be sent free, because things are happening, because our Lord is having his plan in such a beautiful way, that why all those gurus bringing all those frustrations, all those lies, while they, while they, everybody is telling you, oh, everything is ready, the banks are ready, and us, they're all ready already for the many, many, many years. We here will tell you exactly how things are happening. So we not, in my show, we not depend on fairy tales. We depend on the word of God. And as you can see the things happening, you will see who is telling you a, a truth and who's telling you a lie. 
So, let's go for the news first before we go to the Patrick. So, we're going to go for the news first, okay? The news. I've got to tell you what happened, all right? And I will give you the little intel that I got, all right? It's just a little intel, but it, it will tell you a, a lot of things, okay? So, let's go to the, to the part of the news. Let me go ahead and read it for you. Uh, well, you know what? What I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to play the audio first. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Let me play the audio. And as I play in the audio, uh, I will read then the news. Okay, guys? So that's, that's what I'm going to do. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Prophets are people who are ordained by God to speak on his behalf, just like Prophet Jeremiah in the the sun, and it could dry it. This one, it also visited the same place, looked at the situation. Okay, like I told you in the beginning, I just didn't have the time because I was running late, but let me just forward a little bit on the on, on the audio and uh, so you can understand exactly what I'm talking about because it was part of the Zimbabwe prophecy that's the prophet uh, Emmanuel Makadewa that you're listening to okay hold on let me just forward it and it felt like, like knows, knows how, how to take some notes and the minutes the third bird, which is the secretary, symbolizes South Africa. The secretary bird is the one that is on the coat of arms of South Africa. According to Wikipedia, the secretary bird is placed above the protea and the flower forms the chest of the bird. The secretary bird stands with its wings uplifted in a regal and uprising gesture. The distinctive head feathers of the secretary bird crown a strong and vigilant head. The rising sun above the horizon is placed between the wings of the secretary bird and completes the oval shape of ascendance. Number 3. According to Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, the last bird represents South Africa. The man of God highlighted that it was carrying the sun and it had a unique ability to write, take some notes and minutes. This is an accurate depiction of the secretary bird as its symbol on the coat of arms shows the rising sun. Confirming the figurative prophecy, a secretary is the one that deals with the correspondence in any organization, hence the ability to write, take notes and minutes. The fish eagle is the national emblem of Zimbabwe. The bald eagle is the national symbol of the United States of America, as Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa prophesied. The secretary bird appears on the South Africa coat of arms and is also a national symbol. If you notice, all the three symbols which Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa used to distinguish the three different countries respectively appear on the currencies of these three countries. This therefore means that Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa was directly prophesying concerning the three currencies of all these three nations. Number 4. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa referred to the fish eagle as the main actor, which in this scenario refers to our nation of Zimbabwe. So the Lord showed me the place where the fish eagle, which was the main actor in this, in this scenario. Number five, the fish eagle's nest refers to its breeding source. In this case, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe or the finance governing system of Zimbabwe. So the Lord showed me the place where the fish eagle was staying. And I also saw its nest. Number six, the feathers of the fish eagle refer to the currency used within the nation. In this particular case, the fish eagle had created its nest using its feathers. And its nest was made up of its feathers. This refers to the use of the Zimbabwean dollar by the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. Number seven, speaking in parables, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa specified how the feathers were not enough to cover the nest, meaning the inadequacy of the Zimbabwean dollar to sustain the economy as well as to cover its needs. But I saw there was a problem with the nest. 
the feathers were not enough to cover the family. Number 8. Furthermore, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa broke down his prophecy, shedding more light on the origin of the eagle with stars, which is the West. Then as I was looking, I saw that eagle, which was carrying the stars of heaven, I saw it flying. I saw it flying, and it was coming from the West. If one is to look at the continental globe, it is clearly visible that America is on the Western Hemisphere, just as the men of God prophesied, an eagle flying from the West. Number 9. Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa further prophesied the geographical positions of the two birds. One was at an elevated position, whilst the other was at a lower position. And when it observed the situation down there, what was happening down there? Confirming Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa's prophecy, indeed, America is positioned up in the west, whilst Zimbabwe is down below the south. This is also evident on every global map. Number 10. According to Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa, the eagle dropped its feathers to help the fish eagle. It then dropped its feathers to help the fish eagle. This is a representation of the situation that was at hand as the United States of America allowed the nation of Zimbabwe to use its currency to allay the economic challenge at hand. At the time Prophet Emmanuel Makandiba was giving this prophecy, the first part of the prophecy was already manifesting as the eagle which carries the stars was already dropping some of its feathers for the fish eagle to use. It is a norm that prophets can give prophecies on issues that are beginning to manifest or that are already manifesting but they go further and prophesy in detail on how the matter will proceed. The prophecy of the three birds had more intense details that the prophet was about to reveal which had not manifested at that time. Remember, in biblical times, prophets would deliver messages, warnings of things to come or giving counsel on what would have already transpired. We have a typical example of Nathan who is sent to David by God after an event had already taken place. His mission was to speak the mind of God as well as give guidance and counsel for David to read Okay, so I have to stop it right there because I got to tell you what it is. So that's the prophecy of the three birds. And as we know it, and as the, um, the host on that video has explained it very well, the third bird was South Africa. So what does South Africa has to do with Zimbabwe? Or what that the United has to do with Zimbabwe. It has to do everything. Because Zimbabwe has no currency. Remember that. They stopped the currency. His, his dollar. His Zimbabwe uh, dollar. Back in 2008. So they have no currency running around. Okay. So. Uh, South Africa. Wanted to cover his wings over Zimbabwe, like trying to help Zimbabwe so they could use their currency, the rand. So now we got the news. Listen to the news. It says like this Zimbabwe, President Emerson Mangawa. And let me just get this out of the way because a lot of people are already sending messages and I don't like that okay Zimbabwe President Emerson Makang Ma Makangwa said his country will not adopt the South African rand as its official currency but will wait for the appropriate time to issue his own legal tender that means that they're going to reintroduce the Zimbabwe dollar. That is a prophecy fulfilled. So you can either follow the guru with his eternal drama about suing 
or about the aliens and the elders and the grandfathers and all the bullcrap you love to listen and read. Or come to Jesus and listen to the truth. It is up to you, my friend. Not is up to me. This is the only place that is not even in any Dinar Land website. They don't even recommend it. This is the show that is called Fake News. And it's showing you, show you, you, it's actually showing you, proving you that there is only one truth. It is not Benny's truth. It is not my show truth. It is Jesus' truth. And now, it's killing all your bullcrap about the family dragon and all the crap that unless they found it, there'll be no RB. Why? Because there hasn't been not even one prophet telling you they have anointed them holy to help you be rich. Nothing. That is why my Lord told me that they are their enemy because it's basically distracting you whole attention into a group of entity who wants to take that glory out of my Lord. I black an idiot because he made an opinion in posting on my Facebook live, on my Facebook page. Yes, I did block them. And I know he's listening to me. I block you because you are an idiot. Because you are a retard. Because you believe that these people is going to help you. Okay? So, whatever you want to do, do it in your time. Do it whatever you want to do it. But not in my page. And I don't know why I get so pissed when I see people like you like this. You know why I get so pissed? It seems like uh, somebody's really slapping my face. Because I don't want nobody to share my Lord's glory. I don't want nobody to even try to take his glory. Because I love my Savior. I love with all my heart my Lord. Without my Lord, I'm nothing. Don't you dare. Don't you dare come and troll on me. Because I swear. I'm not going to curse you. But I'm going to be very, very, very sorry about you. Because the Holy Ghost is talking to me. And he's saying this. I will be around you because I will show you do not mess with my anointed men and women I'm here to save you and take you into the place of the truth I'm here to change your whole life your mentality and resetting your mind because I'm, I am the Lord of resetting. I am the Lord of love. I am the Lord of justice, but I am also the Lord that is jealous. Don't you dare bring my enemy Will I will take care of you. And I am sorry for all of you who's going to try to take your wealth from the enemy. And listen what the word of my Lord is saying. You are not going to exchange. You are not 
going to exchange, says the spirit of the love and justice of my Lord Yeshua. Let me finish the article. His comments, his comments come against a groundswell speculation that the Zimbabwe will adopt the RAND like other Southern Af African countries such as Lesotho, Namibia, and Swaziland, which they use the South African currency as their legal tender alongside their own currency's peg of a similar value to the rent. The country adopted the multi-currency system dominated by the United States dollar to restore the economy and stability. During the hyperinflationary crunch, Zimbabwe's highest denomination was $100 trillion note that could only buy a handful of groceries. Fears of hyperinflationary strength is still abound in the Zimbabwe and the government has maintained that the local currency will only be reintroduced if the right conditions are in place. But still, any talk to a return to the local currency causes anxiety in the country. So as you can see, the, the whole country is a whole mess because of corruption, not because of the color. Not because of their black. No. It's because of corruption. Okay? And I need to understand that you need to understand this. Reset your mind. You need to reset your mindset. Take away the liberal mentality that always you're going to bring up and pull the race car. Oh, you are racist. Okay? Just take that away from you. Just Resaying your mind. Reset it. Every single prophet, white and black prophet, has been re repeating this. Resetting. Resetting. And you still don't get it. Reset your mind. Let's start with that. After you reset your mind, you're going to reset your spirit. Yes, you got to reset your spirit. Because my Lord... Is going to bring new things into your life. He said it right there. He is going to make everything new. Everything. You have no idea what is coming. I was just listening to Prophet Mark Taylor. Amazing. Amazing. I can spend maybe five shows talking about Mark Taylor. You have no idea what's coming. He even saying it. Almost every single prophet are saying it. It's going to be in a such a way you're not going to even believe it. I've been repeating it and I don't know why. Maybe the Holy Ghost is repeating it. I'm going to shock you and you're going to shock me. Everybody's going to be shocked. It's going to be shock. Okay? When is that going to happen? More likely it's going to happen in February. Okay? So, that's the news. That's the latest prophecy fulfillment. So, you can do one thing or other. You can start partying because it's a you need to celebrate it. You need to celebrate that the Lord is working for you. You not abandon. He is working for all of us. He's going to work wonders. Just take a look at the prophet Emmanuel. I have never seen a prophet so detailed. I was just talking to Patrick about it. And even Patrick went like, my God, I can't believe this man. Isn't that true, Patrick? 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 Yeah, I was very, very specific. Yeah, so what do you think about you Prophet? Yes, yeah, what? it was uh, very. It's a, it was incredible, right? Uh, usually, for me, uh, when I when I, yeah, it was incredible. Usually, when I get um, information uh, from God, it's, it's a new thing for me. But usually, I get it's 
seems to be a pattern for me because I get like a warning maybe a year or more before and then uh, I usually don't know how to handle the information I'm still learning uh, about it but uh, it seems to me that regarding the economy it was basically a year ago uh, that I got the feeling that something is not right you know mm -hmm. and it was really interesting to see that both he and uh, uh, and uh, the sadhu prophet uh, from India he they both of them said that 2018 will have a financial event mm -hmm. um, And he actually talked about Bitcoin, and I think uh, there will be some something happening there. Uh, we haven't seen the the, the real thing yet uh, there. That's what I, I think, but I could be wrong. And um, then the, the the image that Emmanuel uh, did, where he wrote or put an image about the table, and then the dollar versus the sim, and then he also talked about the gold, which I think uh, it seems to be going in a direction that if we do a currency reset, gold will have a, a part of it. And Kim Clement also says that uh, uh, he, he talks about gold quite a lot. Yep. And uh, there's actually a prophecy so that people that actually have gold and silver can give them some comfort uh, for the future by reading a little bit from a prophecy. This is, this is actually linked to the the simple stone uh, prophecy, because I think the simple stone is several things, perhaps um, just speculation, but um, uh, let's see here. Where did I read it? Just give me a sec. Sure. Take a look to so, Patrick, because you know, he's a great decoder, okay? Mm -hmm. Just take a look what he's gonna say. So he says, uh, because, um, Uh, I'll explain about the simple stone a little bit later because I think you're not, I don't think you're wrong about, you know, the, the Zimbabwe currency has something to do with everything, but I, I'm not sure if, if that's the actual simple stone because I think the solution to the, the economic problem we will, we are facing already, but you, you don't see it in the stock market yet. Um, you, you will see that or the, the solution, according to Kim Clement and Mark Taylor and other prophets, is that the solution to the economy is basically new energy. And uh, there's going to be five different types of new energy uh, that, that will come. And uh, he talks about the volcano eruption, which will like, trigger it to move forth rapidly. Uh, so that's basically what's going to happen. And after that, there will be really like cool inventions coming up on, on energy that he has saved for the last days um, for us uh, people of God to actually probably to make the world better uh, because right now we are so dependent since the last hundred years or more. We're really dependent on the Middle East and the oil and you, you can just watch how they act. The, the princes and kings over there, they, as Trump said, they're USA is basically making them rich, protecting them, and, uh, and they are remember doing also, horrible things. Yeah. Maybe not all of them, but most of them. They have like slave bazaars and every crazy stuff going on that nobody really in the media cares enough. Uh, um, uh, it's a season of uh, undercover, which he says that God will bring out from the covers the truth which most of us awake people have, have been knowing for years that uh, there's a lot of things under the surface, uh, you know, that people in high positions just get like bribes from different corporations and evil people and they, um, they just do whatever they want and make up stuff that's not true. Uh, so we're living in that kind of environment. But anyway, so I, I was mentioning about gold and silver. Uh, So he, he talks about the caterpillar, and I think that's basically the simple stone project that I believe uh, uh, believe in because it's a free energy device. He says here there is gold and there is silver, and there uh, there are those that are waiting upon. I can see it. I can see it. There are wells. There are eight wells that are going to be unstopped. Uh, the 
the wealth shall bring a great provision to the people who are perceptive and who invested. Um, here are some of the things that the prophet has spoken. What was it? Was it not Jesus who said, "Cast your net to the right side of the boat," yep. and so on? Uh, so I actually believe that if you have physical gold and silver, you will be well off. Um, but that's not because he says in another prophecy that that's not the best, best of the best investment. If, if you invest there, you will make it much better than most people in the coming crisis, I suspect. But mm -hmm. there is much greater things that you can discover, especially if you, you, you just basically, I'm telling you, jets that if you can identify one of the five energies that are coming and you invest early, you will become really, really rich. But uh, do we and know then those? you can do great things. Yeah, well, give to charities. You can you can start your own dreams and projects that are really good for the world. Because I suspect many of you people listening are people that, that will uh, change the world because you have things you you gone through in your life, and it's probably been difficult. So you have learned a lot. So there's a reason why you're listening, and uh, you you just need to. Uh, figure out what's um, through God and Jesus, what what you're supposed to do, and uh, great things will happen. Yeah. So, um, so what, what, what? Yeah, it's good that, uh, yeah, I want to, yeah, I just wanted to say that. And, uh, yeah, there's, I don't know, we should talk about the economy first, I guess, because mm -hmm. Zimbabwe is like a part of the but reason. I want to ask you gold something. will probably go up. And, yeah. I yeah. want to ask you something. I just want to ask you something, okay? Um, yeah, sure. Have you noticed that everybody's waiting for something? Because, look, it doesn't make any sense, all right? Let me just tell you this. If you were president of Zimbabwe, and you know that you are having a hyperinflation, and you are telling that your nearest superpower of economy which is South Africa and you say no I'm not going to use your currency and then you say well you know we'll do later on we will see what we're going to do later on basically you're putting your country into into a very very bad situation because you're not making yourself you're not you're not coming out with a solution so obviously Yep. He's waiting for an event, right? Would you agree with me? Hello. Yeah, I think they are. Uh, I think they are aware of things that prob they, they probably don't know everything, but they know that there's things are go going to change. Yeah, but so I believe I stronger believe. Reasonable. Yes, I stronger believe. Okay, let me just tell you something. I strongly, very strongly believe. Zimbabwe, Iraq, and Vietnam are waiting for the event. And that is why they're not coming out with a real yeah. value. What yeah, is the event? The event is the gold standard. Yeah. The event is the financial collapse. You know? It's not going to be like yeah. a big, huge collapse because... And I think uh, if, if you get the currencies... Yeah. You know, they're waiting for the correction. They're waiting for the correction. We already have a little correction in the cryptocurrencies. But even that has not held well. Now we got news. We got news, okay? Uh, what has happened is it, it's nothing because uh, if you look at 2013, it, it, it went from uh, like 80 to 1,200 and then it went back down to like 90 or something. And if you bought at the top, you, you got like 90% loss. Yes. Uh, if you sold it, if you held it for two years, then you 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 got up into the new, uh, you know, when it went up like crazy. It's interesting with the cryptos because they actually started to go up after the election, um, and that was quite unexpected because uh, if you think about it, it's it's it should be like time for gold and silver to go up in the same way. That's what I'm thinking, uh, but there needs to be like a big event. For that to happen, and and, this, uh, this there is, is actually a prophecy that talks about it. Uh, I can read it okay, uh, if you want. Yes, please. 
It's, uh, I hear the Holy Spirit saying, as this region is calling to the prophetic voice, which seems to be what's happening right now, something is going to happen in the stock market. God said something is going to happen, that it's going to shock people, because nobody right now, or for the last year, ha- ha- would have been super shocked if the economy suddenly mm-hmm. goes into reality. Uh, for in the next few weeks, they will cry out and they will say, oh dear, oh dear, may we, may we go back to the 1920s? But God said no. Uh, and this, this prophecy is from 2006. Um, and he says, this, this is a very unusual thing I'm going to do. But even as the people celebrate the prophetic tonight and they call for the word of, word of the Lord to come, so I will bring my word to you and change the circumstances that are surrounding you, says the Holy Spirit. There is no storm that is going to come again. God said it's over. Last summer, the storms came. This summer, the, um, uh, last summer, uh, the hurricanes came. This summer, they will threaten. And you all know that last summer, there was like a crazy hurricane season. Exactly. So uh, that's a hint of where we are. But you never know. You, it, because I think it's highly unlikely that we will have like a super hurricane season next summer again. And then next year, there will be another one. So it's like three in a row. Mm-hmm. So that's really um, unlikely in my world. So I think it's actually, uh, he talks about last summer. Uh, and then God said a huge spiritual breakthrough will manifest where I will provide finances in a way that people have never seen it. For the economy shall shake, and then then I will raise a voice up, and they will say, God has done something unusual for us. And that's basically the people that I've been networking with the last year will be those people, and uh, uh, your jets, and you yourself people who do these things, because I I believe uh, those who are listening, they've been like, uh, because it, I remember you saying that you had 30 people from the start on your show, and then it's like multiplied like crazy. Mm-hmm. Now we have a lot of people listening to you. Mm-hmm. So um, there's a lot of people in for a reason, and these people uh, that are listening will uh, change the world, basically, because if you get off the power from the because there will come new energy so who will lose power it will be the middle east uh maybe not the people because the people don't even benefit from from the the oil uh shakes that take they, they rob the, the money from the people uh, basically so most of the people in those regions don't even benefit that much from from all the oil money uh so th- those rich people who have uh taken everything for themselves, they will uh, suddenly become really poor uh, because they have like super luxurious lifestyles. And suddenly if your money dries out, what will happen? They won't know what to do. Uh, so uh, it will be very amusing to see that yep. unfolding. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be so, very interesting. Yeah, what, what do you think? Yeah, I, I, I look, when it comes to transfer of wealth, you know what it comes to my mind? It comes to my mind, yeah, tell me. take their money out. Have them go broke and yeah. we get the money. That's that's what it comes to my mind. I may be wrong, but that's what it comes to my mind when I say, well, Stratford, well, what? You know, basically God working a marvelous way and have the elite go broke. That's what it comes to my mind. One thing is for sure, yeah. they're going to lose. <laughs> it's probably, as you said, a new, a new elite will mm-hmm. emerge. Yep, that's, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The new elite will emerge. My Jets is that part of the new elite. Some of them are going to be trillionaires. Okay? I'm not. You know, whatever. Some of them are going to be billionaires. Yeah. Some um, of them are going to be You know, um, the, 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 the person... Hello. Yes, I agree. The the thing is, uh, the the person who who's uh, who's um, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, go There's ahead. A little disturbance, I think, in the yeah. in mm-hmm. the south. Anyway, so he who who has the Simple Stone project, his name is Matthew. Uh, he 
actually is also very into the prophecies. Um, and he he actually said that there will there will or Kim Clement says that there will be um, uh, a lot of music and stuff that will uh, happen in in the Latino community. Oh yeah 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 yeah, uh, yeah I remember that they, uh, they, they, you know, he uh, prophesied uh, that, that we're gonna I, have I think, new I think songs. Yeah. He actually said that. Yeah. His invention that he's working on, it's not completed, but it's basically a free energy device that you can build yourself at home uh, to get energy. So he says that uh, it will be, uh, it's usually the Latino people, they are like industrious people, they can take care of themselves. So mm -hmm. if there's any issues with the, maybe power grid or whatever could happen, you don't know what could happen the, the next months to come. Uh, then people could maybe start building that thing um, mm -hmm. by themselves, who knows, uh, and get energy that way. Uh, but I don't think, because that's one type of energy that he, he, he talks about, or he's developing. Mm -hmm. Basically, a, a wheel that spins in a wheel, which uses gravity to, uh, to create like a loop of energy that goes uh, on forever. Uh, so it's basically a free energy that uses water and hoses and piping, you know, that goes in a in a round circle, circle and there's wheels attached to it. Um, I think uh, the, it's difficult to explain it because people don't believe you when you talk about it. Everyone is like, no, no, that can't work, you know. Um, no, but, but I think about, it will actually work. Yeah, but remember what the Russians were and, working uh, last year. Remember what the Russians were working last year. They were working on the, tow in the Tesla Tower, the original Tesla Tower. Remember that? Yeah. They were working on the yeah, original yeah, Tesla about, Tower. Read about it. Yeah, and I think they were testing it. So if they come through, man, we're going to have free energy, everybody, the whole world. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know, Kim Clement says that there will be like five different sources, and then the scientists, you know, the people who's going to develop them, you know, further on, because this, this guy is like a pioneer. Mm -hmm. So basically, the, the scientists will be confounded like, okay, we got five sources now of new energies that we never thought was possible, so how are we going to use them? Which energy will we use for the ships? Which which uh, energy will we use for heating? Which uh, which thing will be used for, for house power? So basically his invention will make your house energy uh, sufficient by itself, so you can just have the device in your house, mm -hmm. and then you don't even need to be attached to the grid. That's basically it. Uh, yeah. What's going to going to happen? Um, so I'm actually suggesting that I'll I'll share the links to his um, to his uh, website, okay. and uh, he also also have a YouTube channel. But you know, with YouTube, they are so corrupt, so they yeah. basically cut all his funding. So mm -hmm. he went down like 99% of his income on that channel. So uh, I'm also gonna put a donate link on it, just if you. Because I know you have a lot of listeners, and any support that mm -hmm. is possible is good. And let's say it is the thing that I'm actually talking about, and you, you actually were one of the people who had invested in the start. Mm -hmm. um, it will have a list of who invested in it, because it's a PayPal uh, link, so it will see who, who put money into it. So what's keeping anyone from giving like five, ten dollars if it's a lot of people doing that? Uh, we can overcome the YouTube censorship because they censorship uh, Christian channels. Mm -hmm. um, it's really bad. So I'm, I'm going to give you guys a link. It's up to you. You can read about it no, and watch the videos and see yep. what you think. Yep. And then it's up to you if you want to donate. But, well, we'll, uh, that's, any money that's fine. You know, project I, I, helps. Yeah, just pass it on and I'm going to share with all my jets. Definitely. You know, we need to be independent, yeah, guys. I mean, you know, look. I don't getting any money from YouTube at all. They don't want to pay me nothing. Okay? They don't want to pay me. I don't qualify under the rules. Okay? So, I, what do I get from, from uh, YouTube? Attacks and hate. I can read every single troll in YouTube. They are still attacking me, especially Poo Poo Bear. You know? But even Poo Poo Bear has been already kicked out from from. From you too, you know. What can I tell you? But uh, this is the reason is. You, uh, know? you know the. You did... Huh? 
Uh, then do you know you know about the Dutch Chins uh, channel? He who predicts earthquakes. Yeah. You know they are uh, like flagging his videos all the time that he he's, it's inappropriate co- content. It's like mm-hmm. he's predicting earthquakes. That's very inappropriate to yeah. to limit his channel. You know it's it's insane what they're doing, but they will be exposed and they will lose by doing this in the in the yeah. long run. So yeah. they've got their things coming to them. All these liberal uh, corporations what I'm predicting, will, what I'm predicting, this uh, will is what suffer I'm, yeah. for this. Yeah, what I'm predicting, I don't know why I'm predicting this. Maybe the Holy Ghost is speaking. I don't know. I'm predicting that we're going to have our own YouTube channel, and it's gonna be so free. Yeah. It's going to be so free that it's going to revolutionize the media. It's going to revolutionize the news around the world. Okay? Yeah, but imagine this. A, a legal cryptocurrency mm-hmm. set up that, that is an uh, independent YouTube channel that's totally free. There's no censorship except for, like, bad content, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the only sense where you don't want, like, bad things there, uh, of course. But there's no censorship, and we own it. Yep. Then they can't do anything. They can do anything, exactly. And, and let's say it's a lot of millionaires or billionaires mm-hmm. supporting it. Who can stop it? Nobody can stop it. Then. Nobody. And this is the this is the thing. This is the freedom that my Lord is talking about. The freedom that uh, prophets are talking about. You know, uh, I was uh, listening to Prophet uh, um, Mark Taylor, and he said that he was going to basically control the whole media. It's going to make our whole media talk good about Trump. You know, but we haven't get that. We, you know, that's one of the prophecies that we have not, uh, 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 you know, you, you, would, you would not even know. Uh, here, hold on. Let me just block this idiot again. Yeah. Go, go, just go and do your stuff, uh, Bobo Bear. All right. So, you know, this is the thing that I'm talking about. I'm talking about, um, you know, the 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 revolution, the revolution that we're going to be part of it, okay? And you need to be open and resetting your mind because whatever happened after the RB, it will just... You're going to spend one of the most amazing times of your life. Okay? If you're not ready, if you're not ready, you're gonna miss a you're gonna miss a lot of opportunities to make a lot of money, guys. Okay? So you need to be aware. Yeah, exactly. You need to be aware. Alright? Be aware. Just have a vision. That's all I'm asking you. Have a vision. Okay? Because if yeah, you want right. to, yeah, if you want to keep being rich and your generation being being rich, it's all up to you. It's all up to you. All right, you know that you come from a very poor family, and that's a change. That's a change that go for generation to generation. You wanna just cut it? You wanna break that gener- that that vicious generation? Then it's up to you. You know, you are. Yeah, you need to use God's help to break the curse on on your family or whatever it is that's been limiting you, and you will create uh, a great family which will do great things. Mm -hmm. What's what's better in life than to have that as a goal? Yeah, so, you know. Nobody has those goals anymore, and everyone just wants their own money. You know, they want to win the lottery, and then they want to. to, This is not as winning as at the lottery. People just want to usually just want to make a lot of money and then retire and live a comfortable life. Mm. But that's not what God wants Let me tell you something us. about he, social media. There's responsibility yeah. connected to this. Let me tell you something about social media. I have a friend. He's a very talented programmer. He made his own social media called, uh, it's called 32 Street. 32 Street, okay? And the only yeah. the only thing he needs is money. That's all he thinks he uh, that thing he, that he needs. So he can come out with the people to finish that media. The media is gonna be much better than Facebook. No restrictions, nothing. Okay, and uh, after DRB, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hang around with him. 
I, I believe that we have a potential to make a lot of people super rich with that, with that media. It's called, it's called 32 Street. And it's amazing the things that he can do, man. But all he needs is money, somebody who can sponsor his project and make it happen. We can kill Facebook. We can yeah. literally kill Facebook. Okay? So we'll see what happens. Um, so let's talk about China, my friend. Let's talk about China. Yeah. Tell me what you find out about China. Is, is China our friend or our enemy? Mm, according to Kim Clement, China should be a friend because people, you know, the, the thing is, if I go to some Christian forums or different places where I read about a lot of stuff just to get like mm. the news for the day, usually how I do it um, anyway so people there the, the people that are not following the prophecies they they think that China will be like a big beast that will just attack everything and destroy the world uh, that's basically it or they want to take over everything and uh, the problem is those people don't know history they, they haven't thread about Chinese history uh, which I have done, and China usually is an internal country. They don't want to go to like other places and take over because they like being in China. They like their country. They're they're there, and uh, they've been invaded like a lot of times, and uh, like Mongol invasions and everything. And they they have expanded like have had great influence, but they're still stayed in China like most of. Um, or the surroundings of China in Asia. They have never, like, maybe they, they sent ships to Africa and stuff back in the day uh, that I know, but they, I'm, I don't believe that they will actually uh, have, like, a world conquest thing in their mind because I, it, they won't be able to do it. That's just what I think. So people are probably listening to the devil that feeds them, uh, those people, with, like, yeah, you should think that this will happen so that the world will end. Because that's what he wants, and you shouldn't listen to that. Mm. And you should instead listen to Kim Clement that says that they will be a, a friend for a season to America, and they will change, and suddenly they will start to support Israel, because there will be some issues with Iran, apparently, where uh, China will start to condemn them. Uh, maybe now they're a little bit friendly to them, uh, but it's difficult to know, because there's so much fake news, you know, not yeah. what they really call fake news, but news that are just there to confuse you. Uh, so, let's, according to Kim Clement, let's he play, talks about Korea, the North Korea, the missiles, everything, you know, yeah. and then he let, talks about China being be, going into North Korea and taking care of it, actually. So, I think Donald Trump probably made a deal with them or something, but he never tells people what kind of deals he made. So, okay, let me let me uh, let me that's make. That's what I believe, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Let let me play uh, King Clement uh, video about China and uh, the political division and uh, also North Korea. Let me just play it out. Okay, so uh, let's after we play yeah, it out, let's let's, let's let's think about that one. Okay, all right, hold on. Though they come to tear your hearts apart, though they come to divide the nation and the people, 
as long as there is a cry as long as there is a prayer I will be there to heal to comfort those who mourn Parsu ar pin yatre to stre khbe so ela masere bi for basia heal our land cause them to rise up oh lord let your blood the sacrifice of the sun cry out this is the day of god's vengeance what shall i do to catch the attention of those who desire the downfall of this nation and the downfall of israel what shall i do i shall arise again and again and again and again until your enemies have no choice but to stand in awe at yahweh I called for this nation Lord that your blood would cover the people that once again light may shine from sea to sea into this nation. God says I'm bringing about unusual rebirths in this nation. I spoke of a visitation that would come that would come into Massachusetts that would come into the northeast and God said I will literally shake as I have shaken the Republican party I will shake the Democratic party as well. And God says it shall be for a good purpose. But I'm cleansing the house. For God said, "Watch, I have told you that China and the United States of America would enter into a pact and a bond. And this is happening. No predicted years ago. For North Korea has stood and they have prodded the giant. And God said they are now going to regret. For God says they have they have already decided to send into the atmosphere." which would poison and destroy my people and God said it shall not succeed it shall not succeed i have listened to the prayers of righteous men in political office democrat and republican i have listened to their prayers and i have listened to some of them as they have cried out and said god the division in this nation is causing too much trouble And yes it is says the Lord but I am moving on the northeast of this nation I am moving in Boston Massachusetts I am moving in New York I am going to deal with the Kennedy family and God said there will be a huge break soon This is not a time for divisiveness this is not a time for political division and yet it is at its highest the hatred towards the president of the United States is 
at its peak that God said, this will change, but I will take Korea and I will take that little beast and I will bring it to nothing. I will protect the people of North Korea, but God said China will have to enter in and I will prove myself strong again for this nation. There is a war that is raging this very hour. They are causing a madman to see himself lifted up in a high, lofty. In North Korea, his hand shakes to throttle America, Israel, South Korea. He has said, I will make nations bow before me under my hand. Therefore, there is a war that is raging that this morning I caused my prophet to see and understand and to defy it by my word as I have spoken before. His hand trembles to send death to the coasts oh people oh, pray 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 but I shall hear my prophets and I shall act swiftly says the spirit of God prophecy God is telling his prophet that uh, the next president of Korea that means North Korea because a lot of prophets have been saying that North Korea and South Korea will unite one more time right Patrick yeah, yeah. so they're going to be one again right Hello, Patrick? Correct. That's yeah. what Ken Clement says. Yeah, and yeah, also Mark Taylor. Says. Yeah, Mark Taylor also. And other, other prophets. Hank Kuneman also has said that uh, North Korea will be united. But you know what he called my attention? This is when, uh, when Kim Clement said that who's going to be the new president after, you know, uh, Kim Jong-un uh, is going to die. Um, you know, there's no way other way he's going to be killed. And he said, "I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the new president." So what I'm talking about is probably the new president or North Korea could be a Christian, right? Patrick? Yeah, perhaps. Perhaps I'm, I'm not sure if if he, he talks about. Uh, I think he's talk, talking about Trump during the the end of the clip because um, he's the one who who is actually taking them on now and like trying to end the problem you know obama did nothing that, mm. except help him uh so um it seems to, because he has said that he's like controlling trump or whatever um uh, and uh you know god is having his hand upon him uh so mm. i think he's talking about that but i believe as you said that, that i'm not sure exactly what god will do but i think he will cause some strife in the leadership there, I think. Mm. And then, uh, Kim, because I've seen that in the news 
now that came came is like being ridiculed with you know with uh, his he has a big bottom uh, in his uh, yeah. uh, in his office and then Trump tweeted back so there's like things like that going on and I think uh, God will do something to disable him maybe yeah. um, and then China will have to use like the ground force to go into North Korea just to because just to unite those countries it's like North Korea is a big fortress there's like all the, it's a communist state so they have military everywhere so I think for it to actually work China needs to go in and take control of the country and then they will uh, they probably made some kind of deal that uh, yeah we will unite the country the two countries but both uh, China will probably get some kind of like uh, I don't know, mining deals, I don't know, something like that, mm. uh, that will actually benefit them more than having um, the, the current situation with the regime. Uh, yeah. That's that's what I believe. That's, that's uh, another we'll thing see. I want to tell you something, that King Clement said that China is going to be our friend for a season. Right? Yeah. Okay, so let me play the audio of another prophet. Now, this guy, this man is... Um, is from India, and his name is Sadhu Sudar Sabarath. Now, let me just tell you something about him. Uh, I'm not attacking the, the anointed man, okay, because I recognize that the man has been very accurate in many of the things that he says, okay? He's also a prophet. Yes. And yeah, he, he said he, what he said is like quite the opposite, so yeah. difficult to know. Yeah, then, but uh, let yeah, me just tell you something about him. Let me just make it clear to everybody. The reason why I'm bringing, me, bringing him here is because we're trying to put all the pieces together, okay? Personally, and this is my own humble opinion, there is something that I don't like about this man. I'm not attacking him, it's just, it's just me, okay? And I ask my Lord to forgive me, because I cannot talk bad about anointed, potential anointed men and women. Because um, I fear my Lord, you know, I fear my Lord. So, I'm just going to play his latest prophecy about China. Now, if we put together the pieces... Uh, King Clement said that China is going to be our friend for a season. Maybe what he's telling us is that the season is over and now he's going to show his real intentions. Uh, so let me just play the audio so everybody can can make your own decision. And um, my humble opinion is there is something I don't like about him. I know what it is. I'm not going to mention it, but I don't. There's something I don't like about him, okay? That's all you gotta do, all, got, all you gotta know, okay? So let me just play the audio for you. You yourself know which nation in the East has the largest army. And as I'm speaking to you right now, the Holy Spirit shows me very clearly that the President of China will even order his army to go and help attack in Israel. the world's army to go and attack Israel. And the Bible also says another amazing thing. Now, 
together with this nations a few kings from the east will also come to attack in the middle east 和这些国家联手的，就是东方将会兴起几位的王呢，一起的来在攻击中东这个地方。You yourself know which nation in the east has the largest army. 你知道在东方哪一个国家有最庞大的军队 ？Two nations. 只有两个国家。China and India. 那就是中国和印度。And as I'm speaking to you right now， 当我这个时候对你说话的时候 ，The Holy Spirit shows me very clearly， 圣灵很清楚的让我看见 ，That the President of China will even order his army to go and help attack in Israel。同样的，中国的领导人他也将会发起一队的军队呢，一起的来攻击。以色列 I am revealing to you what the Holy Spirit is showing me right now. 我现在把圣灵向我所揭秘的事情呢，来告诉你 But this is also written in the book of Revelation, in chapter sixteen. 但是这样的事情呢，也记载在启示录第十六章 My dearly beloved brothers and sisters, 我亲爱的弟兄姐妹 These are the last days. 这是末后的日子 You should believe that we are living in the last days. 你必须要相信我们正活在末后的日子 And in these last days, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to come again. 在这末后的日子，主耶稣基督很快就要回来了 I G I G 就是古老一些，但是呢，文化没有断过流的，始终传承下来，只有中国。So this is your original form, right? Yeah, it really is. 就这是原来的文化。对，就我们这些人也是原来的人。黑头发，黄皮肤，传承下来的。我们叫龙的传人。<laughs> okay, so it's a video. So all you're gonna hear is that the sound. But、uh, I'm gonna post that on my Facebook page so you can see the video. There's a lot of tests in there. There is a lot of tests that you gotta read and basically understand what exactly is the message from the prophet.、Um, so, well, you know, we don't have no control over what the plans of God is supposedly, right? Right, Patrick? Yeah, yeah. It's、uh, up to him how it, how it will go. But I can comment that that clip because. It's difficult,、uh, or it's,、uh, it's easy to misunderstand what he's saying. He, he said that we're living in the last days,、yeah. which I agree with. But if you listen to Kim Clement in a clip, he, he talked about this exact matter. He said that、um, even back in Jesus' days, there was a huge problem with prophets and other people. You know,、yeah. they didn't discern the time.、Mm -hmm. They didn't. They they knew that we are in this time, but it still. You know God's time,、uh, and the, probably he's right in what he's saying. But it's not at the present time,、exactly. right now, when that will happen, because he probably got a vision. And、uh, Kim Clement admits that he, he gets visions, but、mm -hmm. sometimes he misinterprets the stuff he sees because he he, <clears throat> he doesn't always get like a clear message. He, he won't get a timeline. Okay, this day these news will be on the. News channels. The next day, this will happen. You know, it doesn't work like that. I don't know anyone who gets、mm -hmm. that specific、um, messages from God. Anyway, so the problem is that most people don't discern the time, and they expect it could happen the way he says. But I don't think it will because、um, Kim Clement talks about both of them. Actually, said, talks about Trump that he will he will bring、uh, the the Sadhu guy, the Indian prophet. He said that. Trump will、uh, pure, clean and purify the, the USA nation,、mm -hmm. 
and uh, provide security and protection. And that doesn't really work if there is a total World War III scenario where every nation is at war with China as well. Um, I think that's further in time. And that's probably when Jesus will come, when every nation on earth is basically going to try to attack Israel yeah. and try to destroy them once and for all. And I think it's further down in time. Yeah, I because always, if you, um, I, you know, I, yeah, but I always knew, I mean, I always had that, I don't know where I got this, uh, this idea, but I think I got it from somebody who was reading the, the, the Bible to me. I always had that um, mentality, that thought that the moment that Israel was going to be attacked from all his enemies, that was the day that Jesus would come back. Uh, so, yeah, he's saying, you yeah. know. Well, well, yeah, it could happen. Yep. Because, you know. Makes I, sense. I, and, uh, we, you, know, you know the Matthew guy, uh, yeah. he who has, the simp uh, has created the simple stone machine. Mm -hmm. He he is actually trying to decode the Bible and does different things. He's really smart. Uh, he he has a timeline which explains um, Revelation. Uh, the da Daniel he talks about uh, the beasts and um, basically he has. If you you should search for the simple stone on Facebook, you will find his page. If you scroll down there, you will see like images where he explains like with, who are actually the beasts. Mm -hmm. And basically it says that the, the, um, Great Britain was the first beast, and then the second beast was um, the bear from Berlin, Hitler, uh, or it's Stalin, both, because they slid Europe in half, or they did that first, and then after the war there was an Iron Curtain. And then the third beast is capitalism, which is USA, um, or capitalism. And then the fourth beast is... Uh, basically um, what we, we've seen today with Barack Obama because he's like probably the little horn uh, character mm -hmm. and um, uh, there's uh, like images that explain the timeline so so uh, if you he actually believes that Trump is the, the sixth trumpet and then the seventh trumpet will be Jesus so there could be like 100 years between the sixth and the seventh trumpet nobody knows yeah so uh, that's why you need to be careful and think like, yeah, it's the next year that China will attack Israel. And mm -hmm. uh, because if they attack Israel, we will have the World War Three nuke scenario going on, probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I doubt that will happen because then the RV won't matter much for us anyway. Exactly. Uh, if, if that would be the case. Yeah, more, more about the prophecies. They, you know, take years, you know, just take a look at the, um, I don't know, um, Emmanuel, Prophet Emmanuel. I mean, he did the uh, Zimbabwe back in 2000, 2012. He made that prophecy. Okay. And yeah. he just barely completing right now, you know. So, uh, it doesn't really have, it takes that much. Some prophecies really takes a long time. So, you never know. So, yeah, and I actually think God... He knows what the prophets are saying. Mm -hmm. So he said stuff there. Maybe they were said 100 years ago. He decides when they actually get through, mm -hmm. you know. It's up to him. He, he decides when, when it will actually happen. Yeah. So he, he has like a, a playing field open, you know, but then he decides when it will actually take place. Yeah. Uh, I laugh about, like that maybe. I laugh I about know. this false prophet that's, that they say that they know when when my Lord is, is coming back. And the Bible said that nobody knows, not even himself knows when he's going to come back, only his father. So there you go. And yeah. the, when you see, when you hear a prophet, so-called prophet telling you that, he's a false prophet. Because he's against the, the basically the Bible. Yeah, I think... Uh... I'm not sure if he is that. The, the thing is, he just needs to be more careful and explain what he's saying because people will misinterpret what he's saying, mm -hmm. and that's dangerous because they will think that, yeah, we're, we're in the last days, but we are in the end of the last days because the last days doesn't need to be like the next 10 years. It could be a couple of hundred years yeah. more, and uh, maybe great things will happen in certain periods, and
and there will be like the mark of the beast system and everything coming up later on. Who knows if it's our grandchildren or even their children's children that will actually experience that. You don't know. Um, or maybe we are experiencing it right now. Who knows? Uh, but th- that's the problem. Um, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta wait. Yeah. All right, Patrick. Let me just give my Jets the intel that they've been waiting for, okay? All right, guys. This is your intel. Yeah, sure. Please pay attention because things are running too fast, okay? Please pay attention to your intel. All right. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember that uh, my contact from Germany told us one time that uh, Donald Trump was going to travel to Iraq and talk to the Kurdistan region and the IMF and a body and force, and basically the intentions of Donald Trump was going to force Iraq to revalue. How will he win? Uh, is intended to revalue? Well, he was supposedly Trump was going to tell a body to revalue, or uh, Trump was was going to compete against Iraq on oil. Because as everybody knows, we we could easily destroy all these countries. You can be self-sufficient the way it's supposed to be, the way prophets have been saying that we are going to be self-efficient and we're no longer going to be dependent on Saudi Arabia and all those countries. So, assumingly, that's what uh, my contact in Germany told us. So, he called my attention because last night I got a call. And according to my call, Donald Trump supposed to take a trip into Iraq again. And it looks like he may take a trip in February. Uh, and I say he may because it's not even confirmed yet. I repeat, it's not confirmed yet. Uh, if he does... Uh, oh, before before uh, before I, I finish my intel, Patrick, I want to thank you so much because I know you gotta you gotta go now, right, Patrick? Patrick? Yeah, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I know you want to go, right? Because it's been an hour already. Yeah, I need to be going. Uh, okay. Well, it was good to talk to you. Good All to right. See you on your show. Uh, I'll send the links to the simple stalls so people can make thank up the, their own minds. All right. Uh, but as I said, if it's the real deal and you put some money in yeah. to it, yeah, you're definitely. sowing it into something really good. Thank so you, Patrick. So I suggest if you believe in it, do mm-hmm. it. Uh, you have, as Trump says, what do you have to lose? Mm-hmm. Like a couple of dollars or more than that. Who cares about the, if you lose a little bit of money? Um, that's nothing compared to what it could be. Mm-hmm. So And look up the prophecies, try to see if it matches up. Uh, I suggest doing that, and uh, uh, God bless all of you. Thank you, Patrick. Thank and you. And thanks for uh, letting me be on your show. Ben. All right, you're welcome. I'm going to have you back again, okay? All right, Patrick. Thank you so much to Patrick. Thank you so much. God bless you, Patrick. Um, yeah, thank you all. Uh, I forgot that. Yeah, I forgot Bye. he told me it can only be an hour. We are over an hour. Uh, well, let me just finish that intel. Um so supposedly he's to be our president supposed to go to uh, Iraq next month. Uh, I don't know the reasons of his trip. Like I'm telling you, this is just uh, what my contact in. Well, should I tell you where? Well, I didn't get a okay to say it, but let me just tell you this: it's a government contact, okay? And the government contact told me that he was planning to go to Iraq. So supposedly, and I mean supposedly, he's supposed to go to uh, in February to meet the body and the IMF and the Kurdistan region. Coincidence? I don't think so. So... 
everything points out that February is the will be when the whole roller coaster starts. Are we looking for the collapse on the February? Yes, we're looking for a collapse, a potential collapse, a potential break in the financial system. No, we are not looking for the uh, family dragon to pull the plaque or turn out that whatever button and release the funds like they always have. No. We know even depend on the aliens and the Galactic Confederation. No. We don't even depend on any idiot out there telling you that it's over, it's confirmed, and you're going to exchange next week. No. We depend on the divine intel of my Lord Jesus Christ. So, my intel from the banks, from the elite, are telling me that this may be the case. They are coming in February. We are on January the 19th. Basically, we are 10 or 11 days away from February. Anything can happen. Uh, will this trip finally happen? I don't know. I'm not God. Uh, how do I basically, how accurate do I think this is going to happen according to my contact? To tell you the truth, I don't know. And why? Well, because they lied to me before. It's not that they lied to me. All right, let me just put it this way. It's not one guy. There are several guys. Some have lied to me. And some have not lied to me. But those who have not lied to me, they're very, very rare when they come out. This guy had never lied to me. That's why I pay attention to him. But then again, he has not been accurate. Why? Because he's just an infiltrator of the elite, meaning that he listened and he just tell me what happened. Okay? So the man tells me that they might actually, the Trump might actually travel next week or two, coming to February. And um, and if that happens, I got another troll coming in over here, another retard. Uh, if that happens, we got to be watching for that meeting, okay? Because as I told you before, some of the biggest changes uh, coming into uh, the world, whatever they want to do, basically are agreement between elites, okay? And since the all elite is about to leave, is about to basically lose their control, they are about to do something really bad. Let me just put it down, this, this one, okay? Let me, let me prepare you for the best, but let me also prepare you for the worst. I've been told that uh, the all elite is about to attack very viciously. So don't be surprised of terrorist attacks. Do not be surprised. Because this, this is something about a war because, you know, a war between evil and, and good. And the elite will not leave just like saying, okay, I give up. No, they're going to try their best to avoid the wealth transfer. So if we got this, plus what happened in Washington, plus what happened in Iraq, plus what will happen and might happen in North Korea, plus what might happen in the United States, that will take us into prophecy. 
Because prophecy says, when things look at their worst, I will come forward and I will release all the resources. And then you can know the rest of the prophecy. We are being diligent. We are being basically looking for and paying attention to every single news out there. Every single news that are coming out is in our best interest. We know that the uh, banks and the financial system and all these entities are going to adjust the Bitcoin into the new financial system. The only way they can do it is by resetting the system. No way, or, no other way. We know that Bitcoin will be the big destroyer of the financial system. We know for a fact that is because it has been prophesied by prophets. We know that uh, when that happened, there's supposed to be a correction. And not many people understand that. A correction is basically to put everything in order so there will be no chaos and panic. So everybody can just go on with their lives and do business again. That's the correction. So we know that after we get this, there should be a correction. And after the correction is made, we know for a fact that all the currencies will have to revalue according accordance to the new rules of the game, the gold standard. Now, remember Jim Rickards. He expect that Donald Trump was supposed to sign the gold agreement and bring us back the gold standard back in January the 1st, 2018. It did not happen. Why? Because everybody, and I mean everybody, is waiting for the event. The prophet Manuel called it the event. There should be an event. There will be an event. He even said it like that. We got all the prophets saying hey, it's going to be hit between the months of February, March, and April. He also called it the event. So we are right there at the door and wait for the event to happen. And all the currencies will revalue. That is called the reset. The currency revaluations in 2018 is the year of that event. Don't even doubt it. Thank you so much for your attention. It has been one hour and 38 minutes. I don't know about you, but I did enjoy talking to Patrick. And there his points of view of prophecy. And for all your haters, you can go back to your normal life and lie to your people and rejoice for lying and lying and lying and hating me so much because God is destroying your bullshit. Thank you so much for your attention. And I'm looking forward Tuesday in another show or the fake news show. God bless everybody. And have a great night. Thank you for you listening, listening to the, to the fake, fake News, news show, show with Benny. With Benny. See, you See you next time for more conspiracy, conspiracy news, current events, and, and intel from the most controversial, controversial show from Montserrat, Montserrat Radio. Radio.